And here you can open the recent document browser. By the way, the browser can also be opened just by pressing R on your keyboard. When you mouse over a thumbnail in the browser, you can expand the thumbnail, and here you get some additional options. To close this window, click on the document, and this will open the document. Note the speech bubble and the exclamation mark on the save icon at the top of the window, older version file. This file will be converted when saved. So if you've just opened an older version of a file, this is what you're going to see. When you save, it's going to be converted to SOLIDWORKS 2014 and you are not able to convert it back to any previous versions of SOLIDWORKS. Let's unpin the standard Windows menu. Here we have the search option. We can search SOLIDWORKS help, the knowledge base, the community forum, commands inside the program itself, files and models, and so on. Under the command manager is this toolbar called the Hang Up toolbar, and here are various view manipulation tools like Zoom, Previous View, Pan, section view, and so on. We'll talk about these tools in a subsequent tutorial. To add or remove tools, go back to the Customize window, Commands tab, and simply drag and drop commands right onto the toolbar. Next, let's explore docking and undocking options. From these tabs on the left, I can grab, let's say, the property manager and dock it in four different positions. I can also simply let it float freely right in the graphic area. The same is true for the command manager. We can dock it around the screen in four different positions. On the right-hand side is the task manager. We can pin this down or we can simply undock it and let it float freely too. Let's take a look at this. The first tab here takes us to the SOLIDWORKS forum. Next are SOLIDWORKS resources. The third tab takes us to the SOLIDWORKS design library. Here's where we store reusable parts like nuts and bolts, washers, etc. The 3D Content Center, that's how we share resources with SOLIDWORKS users around the globe. Next, we've got the File Explorer, the View Palette. This palette is related to drawing documents. This is the Appearances, Scenes, and Decals tab. Here we can select from a preset number of appearances and scenes. And the last tab is Custom Properties. To dock the task panel, just grab and drag it, or you can click this icon to dock it. Now, before we move on, let's explore how the search options work. Let's select Files and Models. I'm going to type text here. And SOLIDWORKS is looking for files. And SOLIDWORKS has now found some files which match my criteria. Mm -hmm. 